As cancer care begins to address the emotional needs of patients, a new study from researchers at the U of M Comprehensive Cancer Center shows that it's important to address the caregiver's emotional needs as well. There haven't been many studies on people dealing with cancer from the caregiver perspective, and so that's really one of the important aspects of our study, that we looked at how to help patients as well as their family caregiver. There are a number of issues that impact the family caregiver. Uh, they're often expected to provide care without information or support on how to carry out that important role. They often feel uncertain about what's going on with the cancer because they're not directly in the consultation room, and so they have to get secondhand information often from the patient. In 2001, my husband was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Um, he had a prostatectomy and we thought that that would probably take care of the problem, but unfortunately it was a very aggressive cancer. He's gone through a series of, uh, three different series of chemo. And right now we're on a break, so I'm sure there'll be another uh, treatment method, possibly a chemo, possibly a clinical trial that will be coming up next. What we have found in our research is the uh, family caregiver often reports more distress than the patient themselves. This is in terms of emotional distress, uh, often because of this uncertainty, they don't know what to expect. Uh, it's very stressful to be a caregiver and not feel prepared for that, a very important role. And the more that the caregiver is distressed, the more difficult it is to be a, a good provider to the patient. The toll, I think, is just n realizing that maybe um, our life wasn't, is less predictable in a sense. Uh, we're probably not going to go as a couple through the normal aging process. Uh, there are going to be other issues that we have to deal with. We developed an intervention for both patients and their spouse partners to help both of them deal with the effects of illness. The intervention consisted of five sessions. Three of the sessions occurred in the home, and two of the sessions occurred by phone. The intervention was delivered by master's prepared nurses who were very familiar with the illness and how to help people cope. A caseworker came from Focus to interview us in, the ho in our home, and um, it, it, we did questionnaires initially. Uh, and the questionnaires covered every aspect of cancer. I mean, just as far as our, our relationship, um, how we each dealt with it, how I personally dealt with it. And then after the questionnaire was done, we were contacted by uh, a nurse practitioner, or a, a nurse, uh, Meg, and we scheduled some appointments and she would come out periodically to come and uh, just visit with us and talk to us about different aspects of the cancer. We found that the intervention had many positive effects on patients and their spouse partners who participated in the intervention. The intervention was especially helpful for spouses. Spouses who participated in the study had uh, more confidence in their ability to manage the cancer. They had better communication with their husbands or partners. They reported using more active coping strategies to deal with the stress associated with the illness. These spouses also had better mental health and better physical health 12 months after this uh, intervention. It's important to be able to enjoy your life that you have and savor it. And I really think the focus group could be very effective with so many couples who are dealing with the same issues that we are dealing with. We need to provide more care and support to uh, caregivers of cancer patients. They have a vital role. We can no longer leave them in the waiting room or on the sidelines because they are the ones that when the patient goes home, they're providing care in the home when we're not there. So it's extremely important that we offer information support to uh, caregivers as well as to patients.